G'day guys, my name's Scott Alexander King and I'm coming to you from sunny Byron Bay. You wouldn't know it by looking at the sky, normally it's totally blue and cloudless here, particularly this time of the year. And I thought I'd introduce you to some of my friends, they're not gypsy vanners like Carmel's I grant you, but they are cute nonetheless. And here we have Harmony and Munchkin. Now Munch, I can't really show you other, this is Harmony Munchkin, they're miniature Shetlands. Munchkin is Harmony's daughter. Over here we have um, Puzzle, he's a miniature donkey. He came to us from a pub, he's a rescue from a pub um, where he was fed alcohol from a little tiny baby so we had to get off that addiction before he could be um, rehomed and we've decided to keep him because he's too cute. And this is um, Ruby, another rescue. She came to us from Outback Queensland where she was destined to end up as sausages for human consumption. She's too beautiful to end up on someone's plate, so we rescued her. Anyway, just thought I'd introduce you to some of our babies, uh, and I'm lo so looking forward to coming across to Carmel's Ranch, as you know it's called um, River Lane Ranch in Edmonton. Can't wait to come and visit. It's going to be such a treat, A, to get to meet Carmel, of course, but also to see her beautiful Gypsy Vanna horses, which we can't have here because being cold weather horses, they're just not suitable for our tropical environment. So as you can imagine, I'm terribly excited. All this talk though, isn't really about any of that. I just wanted to introduce you to my family. What I really want to talk to you about is how excited I am at the thought of being invited across to River Lane Ranch as a guest to Carmel, where I will be doing several things. The dates for those visits are from the August the 18th to 26th and during that time I'm beside myself I'm going to be offering private readings, um, animal dreaming readings which I'll explain in a minute. I'll be also doing a live um, audience reading where I'll be on stage in inverted commas uh, doing readings to the audience for the audience picking out their animal totems their animal spirit guides and explaining to them what those animals are saying as archetypes and you know in that context what I do is um, quite exciting I think for anyone who's in you know in the animal world who has a passion and a love for animals and finally I'm going to be offering an amazing two-day experience where I will talk to you about all things animal dreaming now that might not mean much to you but you know, as, as a philosophy, it's an, a, a really beautiful and um, all-encompassing way of living life. For those of you who don't know my work, as, as, ever since I was a little boy, I've been able to see animal spirits with people. And I think I developed that ability out of necessity, really, because of my childhood and the types of things I was being exposed to at the time. I had to basically know whether I could trust people or not. And to see animals with people became my way of being able to distinguish whether they're good people or not. Anyway, the talk, the workshop, it's going to be profound in that I'll be discussing all the things you probably wanted to know about the animal kingdom but didn't know who to ask. Like for example, when you're out and about and you come across an unusual animal in an unusual situation, what does that mean? Like what's the message? I have a very strong and, un uh, strong and um, deep grained understanding of all the messages of all the animals and they've been, as I said, talking to me since I was a little boy and sharing their wisdom with me and this is something I'd like to share with you during those two days. Another thing that might be bothering you is why am I afraid of certain animals? Why are certain animals that are out there, even though they're beautiful, why do they make my skin crawl? Well, I'll be discussing this as well from a medicine point of view, from a symbolic spiritual point of view. Why these animals are actually not your enemy, they're actually your dearest friends. We just need to understand that relationship and build on it. And I'll also be taking you through a guided meditation. Whoops, let's put my hand in front of the camera. I'll be doing a guided meditation during which I will take you on a beautiful journey to meet your totem animal and your power animal, after which we'll have a heavy discussion about what those animals are trying to teach us and why they're there and why they're in our life. It's too much to explain in a short video. If you'd like to know more, please visit animaldreamingpublishing.com and check on check out my profile on there, which is our publishing company, or hopefully it's up because it's going through some sort of um, overhaul at the moment, animaldreaming.com, which explains a lot of things about me, my work, why I do what I do, and all those sorts of things. Um, you know, so if you're interested in all, I'd love to see you there, whatever it takes, and um, thank you for sharing my beautiful, well, part of my beautiful family and I hope um, they made you happy.
Thanks heaps guys, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.